Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Extreme drought and record heat is challenging the Western U.S. as never before. There are two questions to ask here. First, what is the intent of the photo? And second, do the public, media, and the government have what it takes to face the escalating climate crisis? This photo was taken by Justin Sullivan for Getty Images at Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. Behind the young visitor with the selfie stick, we can see the Colorado River, which supplies water to 40 million people in seven western states. The river feeds two major reservoirs, Lake Powell and Lake Mead. And Lake Powell is at a historic low, having dropped 44 feet in the past year. There's so many intersecting ways to read this image. We can talk about it as a typical tourist selfie. We should definitely read it as a kind of a commentary on drought and water politics in the West. It's also potentially a philosophical statement about what humans value about nature and the environment and how we've manipulated that environment to our own purposes. I think that it is really complex to both Read this photograph to understand how it situates in the climate crisis right now, and even to understand how much it's, you know, really purposefully provocative on Sullivan's part to shoot this. If we think about it as a tourist selfie, there are a number of ways that we can go. For the most part, when people think about the environment in the United States, at least, they think about going to a place and being in it or viewing it. The practice of tourism is really how most people learn about and interact with the natural environment. Furthermore, the selfie, here very dramatically pictured via the selfie stick, has really become the primary way of interacting with the view. And of course, this view is a view that someone decades ago decided would make a good spot for photos, right? So in all of these especially nationally recognized public lands, there are places where you go to get the shot. And so here we have this woman getting the shot. She's got her selfie stick. She's standing at the precipice. I'm a little worried about her safety, but that's a part of the sublime drama of being in these landscapes and photographing them. So she's capturing not only a dramatic visual scene, but placing herself there. And I think that really does invite us to think about what is the human relationship to the environment, particularly in a contemporary context where there's a real water crisis happening. The question for me is how much this photograph informs and how much does it really distract or entertain? With all the trappings here, it seems to highlight this record drought as a spectacle, as an opportunity for an Instagram moment. And I'm not sure that's a good thing. You know, it makes me start to think about disaster tourism and pictures of people traipsing through Venice. So it's hard to really tell the context and how people are going to read this. And then I start to wonder how much looking at a picture like this can people tell how distressed the scene actually is, you know, how shockingly low the water level is. From a news perspective, it's also really interesting to think about what this is a picture of at this moment. The Glen Canyon Dam was created in the mid-20th century, which then produced the reservoir that we know as Lake Powell. It's a man-made space, and there were many people at the time who felt that this should not be created, it should not be flooded in this way, and that they had in fact taken away a great, beautiful environmental space of the Glen Canyon. So what's interesting to me is that there are also some journalists and other environmental writers right now going in and saying, wow, we're seeing aspects of Glen Canyon that have been hidden underwater for all of this time, for all these many years. And now that the water's lower, we're actually recognizing some other valuable things about that environment. So there may be value in a particular sense in this low water moment, even as it's extremely dangerous for human water needs in the West. 